Thank you for coming, sir. Her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or, if you're ready, it would be my honor to escort you to Her Grace's chamber forthwith. Alright, we've run adequate commercial breaks. There shouldn't be any mid-rolls or anything coming up anytime soon. But we are going to hit it. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Fuck. I'm terrified now. <laughs> Hi, Nanamo. I swear to God, I don't know what's wrong with you or what you're planning. Enter. Shit, it's never good when she's like, hey, how's it going? She's like, get in here. Your grace, your guest has arrived. I'm dressed up for the party. Hi, Nanamo. Come in. And take your ease. Rub on, Sir Emmerich. Any center, Merle Wib, Lucia. Well the steps of faith held against the hold. No thanks to you. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. <laughs> Band of mercenaries. Poo-poos. Eating it up. Such noble words. After the fact. All right, Alfie. Don't make a scene, Alfie. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. To, to what? What is he going to say? Oh, shit. Honored friends. Pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. You're welcome. I'm not there right now, but you're welcome. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Hey, nice. So they're coming back. Ah, ah, they've joined us. Thank goodness. I was worried for them. I mean, I wasn't really worried for them. They seem pretty tough. They seem like they'll be fine. But I'm just glad we're united. Alfie, we're united. Be happy. Uh, Very well. Uh. That can't be good. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. Bye, Alfie. Have a good time. Hi, Ida. Papa Limo. Ishtola. This is Yu Yu Hussey. Yu Yu Hase, I think is his name, right? You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? I have been saying his name right this whole freaking time. No way. Damn, I was hoping he'd have like a really deep voice or something. <laughs> you may go. What did we talk about? Oh, the lady in waiting is leaving. Your grace. I thought she was telling me I could leave, and I was like, I just got here. <laughs> oh, what's in that bottle? No! Oh, look at the little thing on the bed. A little chocobo. You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, 
will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. Okay. That's what I thought was happening. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. And so when she says absolve it, that means like she's getting rid of, um, like Tetelegi, um, Lola Rito, like that band, that little group of people. What are their names? What is, what is that group of people called? Like she's essentially dissolving that as well, right? But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. Okay. Tis mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Okay, I mean I can get behind. I like Nanamo. Like I think Nanamo is awesome, but I can get behind what she's doing. I think this makes sense. It's sad because I don't want to see her go, but it makes sense. That which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. Am I going to be a part of, like, another, like, small group of people that are in charge of things? You're going to completely dissolve the syndicate, institute a republic. I... I, I don't want her to leave, but I, I get what she's doing and I get why she's doing it. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? Sure. Why not? I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. Do you think I was going to say no? <laughs> Much we have both changed since that day we met beneath the Sultan tree. True. And the days ahead promise to change us further still. I hope that we will recognize ourselves when all of this is over. They keep showing the wine. Is it poison? Is she going to die? No. <gasps> oh, you motherfucker. Oh, get out of here like you didn't do that, you piece of shit. No, kill him. Just kill him. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. Kill him. Cut his head off. Poison in her wine? You! You did this! God damn it. Arrest me. Try it. Spare us your denials. I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Men, arrest this viper. Fight back. Fight back. Kill him. Damn it. I knew that was happening too. I knew that was gonna happen. Fuck. Uh. 
Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. Uh, these motherfuckers. All of them. Oh my god, please have like the deepest voice I've ever heard in my life. And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. The British? Where's Heidelin now? We need Heidelin to smite all these guys. Man. These guys have no idea. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men. And the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away. Don't leave. Put the pieces together, homie. You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day oh. return the favor. <laughs> Come, Lucia. Bancred, what are you doing? I guess I guess this is technically an added celebration. Yeah, we need you inside. Come help, please. Thank you. Better kill these dudes. Ah, the ever dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance guard is rather full. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> oh no. Bancred. Of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. <laughs> Kill him, Thancred. Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand that <laughs> I wasn't myself. <laughs> Under interrogation. An Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. A forbidden arts? You best come along with us. Kill him, Thancred. Fuck him up. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Yeah. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Fuck him up, Tancred. Oh, we don't get to watch him fuck him up? Damn it. I assume we're all, like, being held prisoner here now by this little Napoleon complex. Maybe just go sit on him. Too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. 
Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> and you lecture me on personal armies. As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. And he's gonna walk me into the room. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with guardian sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Oh, I hate this guy so much. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> you mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. <clears throat> Gasp. Like I wasn't framed. Yeah, right. No. No, this cannot be. Save your breath. You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. So mad. <laughs> In the prisoner. Oh my god, give me control of my character. I'll fuck all these guys up. I'm so over it now. <laughs> what do you see? Yeah, I don't know. Or is he just following orders right now? This man stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo and his suspected accessories to the crime. All members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. Wait, is Ilbert a bad guy? I like Ilbert. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. God damn it, that vial I picked up, you freaking idiot! How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. I could scarcely imagine. You shut your little mouth. How dare you? After all we have done for Uldar. Hold your tongue, witch. I'll not be ensorcelled. I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh my god. Oh yes, I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Or what? Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now, oh my that god. Is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? She she cannot be dead. Oh, poor Avon. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. No, no more. No! Poor Albon. Play 
Finally, the Royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. Just get up and punt that guy, like, as far as you can. Just like, <clears throat> It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. I bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! You had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! His face, he is crazy. What rot! Though I did have sufficient motive, tis true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. Oh my god. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! What? Oh. <gasps> oh my god, Ramon, chill. Your mind kill him too fuck it it is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers much less slaughter our fellow syndicate no members. fuck him kill him too who cares just go all in you're one of them you've been in league with the scions all along get him get him too fuck it who cares just go all in you, yeah yeah you. you know what i'm in i'm in you know what get him <gasps> he lobbed his arm off. Oh, Rabong. Seven hells. Admiral, we must leave. You could have like parried or something. Damn. No, fuck it. We ball. What the, what is happening? <laughs> How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Now the Loritos in power, I assume. Come on, fuck it, we ball. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> it's better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you. No, Ilbert's a bad guy. Fuck! You are not the man you once were, Rabon. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. No, kill him too. Oh, we're not friends anymore. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Oh my god. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. Oh my god, Elbert. Can be the garbage. You. You die! 
Oh my god. Holy shit, Raban. Oh my god. Let me at him. Somebody get me out. Oh, thanks. Your XL, homie. Let's do this. Not for a moment. There is more to this than I yet understand. Let me, let me at him. Flee this place. Clear your names. Wait, does he die? Behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go. Wait, we lose Robon and Animo. Where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. I agree. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass things <laughs> as we have? Yeah. Oh my Unless god. You plan on pummeling them all. I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. We can pummel them all. Fuck it. We ball. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We two were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Good question. Where do we go? We may safely assume that our foe is thought to have the rising stones watched. Yeah, I think they took charge of it, didn't they? Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Ooh, actually, there's facts, Thancred. How do we get out? Happily, would... I believe I can provide one. Papa Shan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Nanamo's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. Oh, Nanamo. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. Okay, but then go where? Where do we go? We gotta go now. These hands. Uh -oh. The rest of you go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. Papa. By yourself? Yeah, Papa Limo's definitely gonna stay behind. Uh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. <laughs> oh no. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papa Limo! I wasn't taking no for an answer. Let's go. We can't help him now. Pursuers here. Hurry now. Find this tunnel of Thancreds. We're gonna be spread so thin here soon. Come on, Minfilia. Let's go. We have to go. Minfilia, we cannot linger. Go grab her.
They'll be fine. They got it. Just one big fireball. I'll be fine. Uncamped AoE. That's right. <laughs> okay, so now Lola Rito has power where Tetalegi thought he had power. Do you think he planned this whole thing? Do you think he knew that Tetalegi was going to get killed? Or Telegi, excuse me, Telegi, Telegi. Oh. <gasps> ah, now look what you've done. Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. <laughs> He's like, I'm tired. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Whew. We're the scions of the seventh dawn, the ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. Oh, back up. Look at all the bodies on the ground. Back up. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. <laughs> I love these two. Fireball their asses. All right, Ida. In the words of Hulk, smash. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. I thought dancers were the ones who buffed. Woo! Now get out of there. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildeen style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. My nice clothes. Walking around in, like, sewage. Oh, fuck, they're here. This way! They're fast. It didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. You two go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. She just like voluntold Thancred, like you're gonna stay back with me. <laughs> what? what do you mean to do? Fight. Win. Duh. Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. <laughs> My friends. Fucking thank her, man. Leave us. Oh, okay, damn. Shit. We gotta go. Good luck, friends. Um, wow, I'm super fast. Holy shit, look at me go. <laughs> what a 
What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? No way they die. No way. Bitches. Woo! Get him. Oh. Nice. And he's just gonna get blasted by oh no, she's he's gonna take him. The shoulder's just waiting. Oh Well I can barely see. Splendidly. Now would be a good time, my lady. Done. Forgive me, Mitra. Who the fuck is Mitra? I'm so fast, you guys. Holy crap. Hydaelyn. She, she speaks to me. Hydaelyn's back, but I'm not I'm not blessed anymore. No. I can't hear her anymore. We're not connected. So Midgar Somer. Behind, but you cannot stay with me. Why? What? Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realms. Who's gonna give me my 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 MSQ quests if they all die here? As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Aorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Ooh. Is the only way. What the fuck, you guys? I'm all alone. Oh, is this where that like, golem was? No way they all die. Okay. Is that Alphano or Alice? Or is Alphano? Okay. Whew. What of the others? They are not here. Damn that man! Who's this little guy? Taleji played me for a fool. I thought the crystal braves mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Who the fuck is this well-spoken Lala? You look who it is. Need a ride? Yeah. I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. 
Wait, is this guy actually important? Is this Brent guy actually important from the beginning of the game? Yeah. <laughs> All aboard. All aboard. Who the fuck is this looking at with the horns? No, we gotta go, Tiny. His helmet's freaking sick, though. I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar and likely needed a helping hand getting away. But thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. Aye. And judging by them soldiers as we're pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. True. Facts, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? <laughs> I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. Yeah, you have, Alfie. I wouldn't say this is necessarily his fault, but. And who might you be, young sir? Yeah, who the frick is this little guy with the horns? Pippin Tarapin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. Pippin? You shut up. His name is not Pippin. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons. But an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me. But for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? No way. Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. Of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. <gasps> Ooh. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end... Alpha no, you gotta get your ass together, man. It was I who needed saving. God damn it. Yeah, we need your brain. <laughs> Holy freaking cutscenes, you guys. Them soldiers will keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take the carriage back towards Ulda and get the lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. You three wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight's to come. Oh, man. Alright, let's go. Alright, Pippin. What? Break this down for me, please. 
The most unassuming folk can prove to be our greatest allies. That fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us a hand without a moment's hesitation or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man could feel inspired to risk all in all in your presence. While this spoke often of you, Kilzor, and long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Needless to say, this is not at all how I envisioned it. Master Alphano, you must not give in to despair. That would only play into our master's hands. So long as you and Kilzor are free, we may still set things right. Forgive me, Master Tarpin, but I... Alphano, my boy, sorry to keep you waiting! What is this? <gasps> Sid! Or oh, we finally get to learn what Sid's been up to this whole time? Sid, what are you doing here? Pulling well, you out of the fire as usual, your merchant friend told me everything. Truly? Then he is no merchant but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how do you intend to bear our friends to safety? Oh, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? I had the Enterprise but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must find a place beyond the reach of both the Monterists and the Crystal Braves. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> Karthus, Ishgar will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. With me, everyone. So are we going Ishgar then? Not I, I fear. I must remain here. I dare not abandon Ulda to the Monterists and their cronies. You may be certain that they will seek to defame you, both here and in the other city-states. But know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I don't expect it to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn so easily on the Warrior of Light and his allies, no matter what the monetarists claim. Master Tarpin, I... I know not what to say. Alphano, get it together, man! <laughs> now that father would labor to believe. But enough talk. You must go, Master Alphano. Your airship awaits. Thank freaking... His armor is so cool, though. Do we, can we get his armor somewhere in the game? Up, up! There's no rest for the righteous. Ready? Let's do it. Bye, Pippin. Thanks for the lift, Sid. It's just me and Alphano now? We don't know where the rest of the Scions are. And then there were two. Yeah, exactly. We should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Lord Harshafont. Mayhap. Mayhap he will know what to do. All right, yeah, we're gonna talk to Harshi. We're coming, Harshafont. This has been a, a wild ride, you guys. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts. But the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the gates of judgment. They were all lost. I couldn't stop a single one. We must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldah, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. Good. Excellent. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. Only up here, though. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows. 
I love Harsha Font, man. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortom. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Alpha, no, you need to pull yourself together, man. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Are my eyes glossed over? <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, so we so now we're gonna hole up in this place up here in Ishgard, like freaking I don't even I don't know. Fugitives. There we go. Jeez, my brain just like stopped working and hope that nobody comes and gets us. Oh my gosh, this has been crazy. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi friends. <gasps> Tataru! Alpha no Killzor? Is it really you? Hi Tataru. Oh, it's okay. I I'm sorry that I are you Oh Tataru. Oh I, I didn't cry at all, but I might cry just watching her tear up like that. Oh <laughs> I tried contacting my affiliate and the others, but no one would respond. Poor Tataru. And then Crystal Braves, our own people, turn on us in the marketplace. Lamine told me to run, and so I did. I ran, and I ran, until my lungs burned and my feet ached. But I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. Who the fuck is this? <gasps> um, uh, yeah, Yugiri, yeah. Hmm? Ah, uh, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Hi, Yugiri! Face reveal. Pretty, isn't she? Yeah. Anyway, after Yugiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with Yurianje. When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. On the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. Wow, Yurianje, fancy! The transformation didn't take long, either. Apparently, Yurianje started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Yeah! Wow, I guess we're not really alone as, as much as we thought, huh? Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. So we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. My people are searching for the other Scions, even as we speak, but we have met with no success as yet. I had hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, but you should know. The Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good, for good fortune. Only Crystal Braves await you there. Shit, okay, so we can't go back. Be that as it may, we yet have cause to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not impossible that the others could have done so as well. They're freaking better, man. I swear, there's no way they're dead. You may have you may have been forsaken by men and women believed true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the scions restored to their rightful place of honor. sick see we have friends we have allies we've got everything going for us right now we're good to go it is all my doing oh my god alpha no woe is you i believed myself the only one who truly understood eorzea's woes and look what that arrogance has wrought where's alice say i need her to like drop kick this guy i gave commands influenced governments with my certainty I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? 
that I could defeat the Empire and the Asians and find homes for every refugee? I mean, we damn near did that, but the greed of man is always going to take over and it's always going to happen. In the shin. Good. Oh, yes. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored, and sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. So I, I, I get his crisis, but does anybody else feel like he's being kind of selfish? Oh, uh, harshy. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Yeah, get him. Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? I mean, we're here. We're fine. We need you, honestly. Like. Alphino, if I may? Should this place not serve our purpose, then. then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. So cute. Be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. You are right, Totaru. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and it would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. The Tantu crying noises almost got me. No, oh, GG's. We're done. That's it. Good game, you guys. They just cliffhangered the shit out of you guys then, didn't they? Now you gotta wait six months. <laughs> Do I have to do I'm gonna set a timer for six months, and then we'll come back to the game and finish this through the story. <laughs> and I feel like 2.4, 2.5, and 2.55 were very just, like, gripping. Like, there was a lot of shit going on.